the tin can, they were, they cut the head off a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> well, like cut through the head. They didn't cut it off the hammer. That wouldn't be that impressive. But they cut through the the hammer head. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I need that." I'm gonna <laughs> cut all my hammers. Right. <laughs> For my hammer cutting business. <laughs> it did nothing. The steak knives fell apart the first time I used them. <laughs> on a hammer? No, on a steak. That's terrible. <laughs> I don't like them that well done. <laughs> Steak knives fell apart, and the rest were all crap. I, the paring knife was actually good. I had a guy try to argue with me online. Um, I'm part of this uh, Chef Knives um, group on Facebook, and somebody had posted about, uh, I want to get a good knife, and what do you guys recommend? And I mean, pretty much everybody recommended everything that I would recommend, so I didn't bother really answering. I Please just tell said, me one of you has posted Black Knives Matter at least know. once. <laughs> Not that I've seen so far. <laughs> um, but this one guy's like, you could spend one dollar or a thousand dollars. It's all the exact same. And I'm just like, I just messaged him like, says a person who clearly doesn't know the difference between knives. He goes, Anything can be sharpened. I'm like, Yeah, but it's a matter of how often and how well <laughs> and what difference it makes. I said, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't make a fucking comment to a guy who's asking advice about something. We yeah, got that's... this huge argument back and forth about it. And I just kept repeating the same thing over and over again. You don't know what you're talking about. Why are you arguing with me? <laughs> that really uh, upsets me with uh, podcasting too. When and people just that? say something yeah. ridiculous and false. <laughs> <laughs> you, see, you say ridiculous things, but they're true. <laughs> yeah. No, the false ones are not true. <laughs> No, I'm saying when you when you say things, they'll, they'll be ridiculous answers, but they're very true. They're oh, very yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. 100%. I look for your answers when somebody asks something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Eric? Eric? Damn, he hasn't seen this one yet. Yeah, I haven't been keeping up as much as I used to. <laughs> but I won't, I won't invade your knife group because I know nothing. Yeah, it's an invite-only group, so. <laughs> I've been in tons of those. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Any flat earther groups I got into? <laughs> I even got into one twice, and they asked me if I was that guy, and I was like, nope. And they're like, good. Shit. You're not the Eric guy, are you? No. All right, then. Come on in. Those were the days. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's uh, I just gotta think about some of your old responses are just <laughs> some of them are just so good. <laughs> I got ten thousand doubles. I got one. What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they bug me. Some people bug me. And that question, I will fucking shoot you down every time. Or that oh, I got ten thousand listeners on my first three episodes. Is that good or bad? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, you're a douchebag. Just One of them I appreciated. He said, "I just hit ten thousand downloads. I've been doing this for a year and a half, and I hit ten thousand downloads." And one person said, "On one episode, he goes, no total." I'm thinking, yes. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Well done. Congratulations. That's awesome, man. 10,000 downloads total. That's amazing. Way to go. We, I don't think, have that. <laughs> nope. We have more than that in listens. We've got thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of listens. But nobody wants to download. Probably because our show is three hours fucking long and fills up their entire phone. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's okay. The more important thing, in my opinion, it isn't downloads, it's listeners anyways. How many people listen? That's all that matters. I don't give a fuck who downloads it. it doesn't matter to me. I just want you to listen. Yeah, that's it. Listen Great. because it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> when is that again? Let's say, what, two days? The tomorrow. It's tomorrow? Thursday night. It's the 18th. 12 hours from now, actually. Oh, Sometimes. I think it's 20 to 7 in the morning. Something like that. Hmm. June eighteenth. There it is. I still. What was it? Two years ago when you posted it, 
it was a different birth date. I'm like, happy birthday. He's like, thanks, man. It's like, like two months. Yeah, no, oh. Facebook, uh, <laughs> Facebook somehow had my birthday wrong and it, everyone started wishing me a happy birthday. That was really great when my aunt, my mom did it. Like, really? <laughs> you guys are the only ones who are supposed to see through this shit. What the fuck? Like you would think <laughs> at least my family would know my birthday, but no, <laughs> all wish me a happy birthday. I was like, thanks guys. This is why I t- speak so highly of you. Right. <laughs> it was like August. It's <laughs> so funny. Um, uh, uh, England um, has wrote some new legislation, which I think is great. Um, it all came from this one British backpacker named Grace Milane. Milan. Oh, whatever. I got to send you this. Yeah. Um, what happened was, was, uh, she had, um, basically the defense for it was, uh, rough sex gone wrong. Uh, she got choked to death during sex and and he said, Oh no, I was just doing, I was just, you know, I I didn't mean to kill her. Um, well they have, uh, there's a new, uh, domestic, domestic abuse bill where that defense will not be acceptable anymore. So they're saying, "New, no, you kill somebody during sex. Fuck you. It's still murder. Yeah, you I would think so. Your arms are on somebody's throat <laughs> and you kill them because of that. That's murder. You can't defend it by saying, well, I was fucking her. I didn't realize. No, <laughs> you were killing her and you didn't realize. So. Yeah, um, I think if that was a valid defense, a lot of us would use it a lot of times and we would just start fucking people before we killed them. Yeah, um, it has been used in a lot of defenses. Um, I, okay, I'll, let me rephrase that. It has been used in some defenses. I'll use the quote out of the article. But uh, um, this new law or new um, legislation will just nope, kibosh the shit out of that. Well, that's good because we're making uh, it fully a defense to say, oh, I didn't know what I was doing. I was so drunk. Yeah. So then we'll just use that from now on instead. <laughs> oh, so I, it was sex. So I didn't know. Nope. You can't use that anymore. Oh, I mean, I was drunk. I didn't know. <laughs> nope. That's still good. You can use that. All yeah, right. Cool. I was drunk. That's the one then. That's it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Which one of these can I use that will make me go home right now? Because <laughs> that's the one I did. <laughs> you could do the drunk one. That was it. There it is. I was really drunk that night. Holy fuck. How many beers did you have? Enough. (laughs) (laughs) Enough. (laughs) Enough for this charge not to stick. (laughs) Fuck. Oh, that's so fucked up. (laughs) So messed up. Uh, So, well... Well done. Well done. So oh, I, that's always nice when I see that standing up finally people standing up for this bullshit fucking defense for why I killed a fucking woman. Yeah. It would be nice if people would just stop killing unnecessarily. That would be really nice. I don't really see be. that happening too no. soon, but, um, did you hear there's a, they have the first um, uh, f- treatment for coronavirus? I heard there was something that looked promising. It's called Dex, oh fuck, why do I do this to myself? Dexamethasone. It's got meth in it, that kind of makes me nervous. Um, but yeah, right now it is, it's being part of the world's biggest trial testing uh, testing existing treatments to see if they also work for the virus. This is a cheap and widely available drug, which is a really good thing in the sense it's a low dose steroid treatment. And they said that's a major breakthrough. Well, work. goody. A major breakthrough and a very minor illness. Way to go. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't 
understand why this is taking so goddamn long. No, me either. About 19 out of 20 patients with coronavirus recover without being admitted to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> it's, it's part of the same article. <laughs> yeah. So you better rush out and get this medication because you might be that other guy. <laughs> <laughs> of those who are admitted, most also recover. But yes. some may need oxygen or mechanical ventilation. 89% recovery rate last time I checked. I don't know if that's still holding strong, but... Um, yeah, it's like... Wait, Russia. are you sure it's 89? I thought it only had a 1 point something percent death rate. That was only 1.6%. That's 98%. Yeah, no, just people who get the recovery rate, if you have it, you 89% of people recover from it. Um, I don't know that... Uh, I don't know if that 1% is, it could be. I'm trying to look it up right here and I don't have it right in front of me. It changes, obviously, as nations stop lying and actually report stuff or <laughs> um, the other way around. I don't know. The World Health Organization actually shows up for work that day and does actually something does right. Job. <laughs> uh, Good thing Justin Trudeau committed a bunch of money to them instead of the UN. Good job, buddy. Way to get that Security Council seat. Why the fuck would you give a bunch of money to the WHO after the fucking things that we just went through with them? But you won't give money to the... Oh, God damn you. Infection fatality rate is 1.4%. Infection fatality, 1.4%. Um, Mortality rate is 0.28%. Yeah. But that's still... Where is my recovery? Uh, do, 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 I can't find it right now. But the numbers are much less than lots of stuff. Yeah. Where is the recovery number here? Do, 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 do. The fuck am I even on? World meter. The patient who died in the Philippines was 44. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shot in the head, but died of COVID. The median age of cases outside of China is 45. 71% are male. 80% who have died are above the age of 60. 75% had a pre-existing health condition. Oh, this number I was doing was just out of New York alone. Yeah. That's not even world. That's so fucked. The whole point of this is supposed to be world. Man. So fucking New York. I fucking retarded. How dangerous is the virus? <laughs> I uh, define dangerous. <laughs> is it as dangerous as like a spider running across your foot? Absolutely. Uh, in current cases, 2% are serious or critical. Yeah, I read that. Cases with, with an outcome, 9% are deaths. 91% are recovered or discharged. 91. So it's gone up slightly from yeah. my 89. Sorry, I was off by 2%. <laughs> I apologize. How dare you? <laughs> You How dare you? <laughs> uh, January 31st, Canada reported its fourth case. January 31st, that was our fourth? Our fourth case. And the first two in Russia were reported. Jeebus. Mexico's just still getting fucked, eh? Yeah. And they're they're sitting at their highest numbers in like weeks and they're opening everything up. <laughs> well, it's just a bunch of drug lords running the country. What do they care? <laughs> it's true. And no one's gonna care if you know, oh, oh my god, a bunch of drug dealers are dying from COVID. Boo. <laughs> Quick, get them the dextra hextrarine, whatever it's called. <laughs> Dextra methasone. 
what I said. Get it to them. Give them the math. We need good coke back. 